Hello, in this tutorial I would like to answer a very basic question that is more commonly asked about short run in long run asymmetries after estimating a, a non-linear ARDL using E-views. Following our previous tutorial using the stepwise approach, there is a simple approach to estimate a non-linear ARDL instead of using the plugin or the add-in uh, using E-views. Uh, why we would not be using that add-in because identifying the specific coefficients to test for the asymmetries would not be uh, simple so i would follow this tutorial so whatever we have to do we have to create initially the uh, cumulative sum of squares for both positive and negative shocks that we already know how to do that uh, and we can just follow the code that i would share with you on um, using the uh, youtube description you can just follow these codes and or you can just visit our website to download these codes more specifically in an eviews uh, work file that i would share with you later on so whatever we have to do, we have to estimate a simple uh, regression that is from a uh, quick, uh, click on the quick menu of the e-views and then estimate equation. And here you can just need to specify the stepwise approach from here, from the estimation settings and then you have to specify the two uh, parts of the equation that we already know. I will just copy that from here in the text file that I have kept and I will share this text file with you as well. So I will just... Uh, this is the long run part of the equation and uh, we can just follow the specific part of the short run equations from where we have to se select the list of regressors using the search options and from there we can just click on option and then unidirectional and I can just mention the p value to be 0 0.05 and you can just mention your own approaches that is for example how to find out the selected variables as well so I will click on ok because I have already estimated uh, uh, initially the same equation so I would just click on yes and I would get the part of the equations uh, before estimating the short run and long run asymmetries I would show you from the shame paper uh, how to define the short run and long run asymmetries uh, very specifically from the paper and then you can identify the null hypothesis and similarly the alternative hypothesis and then we can use the word restriction using e-views so let's see uh, what that uh, paper says about the short run and long run asymmetries so i would go to page 19 here in the paper and we can see that uh, the short run and long run asymmetries are defined uh, like this that means that uh, the coefficients of the positive uh, differences and the negative differences it is the cumulative sum of squares for positive and negative shocks in the, in the variables. So I would show you from the equation uh, that is 3.20 or 3.19. So positive and negative are basically the, the independent variables with positive shocks and negative shocks that we want to use as a cumulative sum of squares. So the positive variables should be equal to the negative variables. And why we call it as a measure is if both positive and negative changes have equal effect, that would be, for example, there should be no need for the non-linearity and similarly the short run is basically the first differences of these positive and negative sum of squares so the coefficients will be used from here in part of the short run asymmetries so i would show you the same hypothesis from here so these are the modified coefficients in this part of the equation so we would be using that so how to do, do that in e-views i would go back to e-views and then click on view and then co before going to that i would find out actually the coefficients of the long run part in the short run part with the positive and negative shocks so i would click on view and then the representation i would just make sure to copy this equation somewhere outside uh, like here i would just make sure that i identify the coefficients of the positive and negative shocks so let's say my uh, dependent variable is c2 so i would keep this coefficient and then uh, c3 is the coefficient of the positive shocks and i would also keep that coefficient and similarly c4 is the coefficient of the negative shock so i would define my negative my first hypothesis of long run asymmetries from these coefficients and i can just do that uh, indirectly as well so let's say if the null hypothesis should be this restriction that c3 and c4 are equal and I can also do that indirectly by just putting the similar convention we already demonstrated previously. So that should be like this. And similarly, I would just paste it here. So both would give us almost similar results because these are just like identities. So I would be following like a simple approach where I would equal the two coefficients. So that could be, for example, the similar approach for us. 
So I would just copy this from here. That is a long run asymmetry because it is the coefficient of the positive sum of squares and negative sum of squares without any differencing. So that is the long run part of the equation. So the long run asymmetry should be tested from our estimated model using these two coefficients. I would go back to A views, click my uh, results window from the view, and then from coefficient diagnostics, I would go to our test coefficient restrictions, and I would just paste this identity here. So that is exactly the, the beta positive and beta negative identity, and I would be able to do that. So following the null hypothesis from the Shen paper, I can identify the relevant hypothesis from here, that is the F statistic, and I can just accept whether uh, there is any uh, asymmetries or no asymmetries. And similarly, I would be doing the same thing for short run asymmetries. And in short run asymmetries, we have to check the equality of the coefficients for the positive and negative sum of squares for the different independent variables. So I can just go back to the text file where I have, I have identified the coefficients of the positive and negative. So that means that that is the, the D means the difference to independent variable so my first coefficient to be used is c5 so that should be equal to c6 because it is the other coefficient and similarly i have to make sure that all the coefficients of the differenced independent variables of the positive and negative shocks are equal the identity would make sense and i can just go by back to the e views and click on view coefficient diagnostics, wall test coefficients, and I can go back to the windows and then paste the identity of the coefficients, that is the, the, the hypothesis of the short run asymmetries, click on OK, and then I can go back and then identify what is the null hypothesis to be accepted or rejected based on this P value. And I'm sure that this simple tutorial would help you begin uh, analyzing the short run and uh, long run asymmetries from the NARDL model. You can identify, uh, modify these uh, hypotheses by finding the relieving coefficients as well and thank you very much.